So with the viral vectors, all you're doing is using uh, the ability of the virus to get into the cell and express a new gene. Okay, so it's just a, a the viral vector is, looks like a truck, or, you know, it's just a, living, or a ship that's living in a cargo. Once that viral vector gets it, into the tumor cell, it shuts off, you know, and you're expressing the one particular gene. Uh, they've been around for for a while, long time, um, and um, and and they've been the mainstay of so-called gene therapy. You know, using genes to treat tumors, cancers, mm -hmm. but also other diseases. Um, an oncolytic virus, it's the same, uh, similar principle, but now the virus can still infect and make lots of copies of itself and spread a viral infection throughout the tumor. And so that's the main difference. So I am now involved in, in, in a couple of clinical trials. I've been involved in clinical trials in this for like 20 years almost. Mm -hmm. So currently we're doing um, a couple of clinical trials. One is a clinical trial, it's still phase one, where at the time uh, when a patient shows up with a recurrent glioblastoma, that's a glioblastoma that has come back mm -hmm. after radiation chemotherapy. Uh, if we can take out that tumor again by surgery, we take out the tumor by surgery, but we then also inject the tumor cavity with an adenovirus vector. Adenovirus is a common cold mm -hmm. virus. So this is a vector, so the virus does not actually replicate but delivers the gene for interleukin-12. Okay. Now, why interleukin-12? Interleukin-12 is a very powerful immunostimulant. It stimulates the immune system um, to basically come in and check out the surroundings. Why is there so much interleukin-12 being made in this area? And so that trial is in phase one. We're almost finishing up the phase one. In fact, I treated a patient last week. It's probably going to be one of the last patients on this trial that I can think of right now. Um, we're now designing a second. We're now in the process of starting a second trial. Uh, this is a trial on a technology that's really old. It's been around a while. Uh, this is using an adenoviral vector to deliver the gene for thymidine kinase. Thymidine kinase is a, is a protein that's not made by the tumor cell, but once you put it in there, it makes the cell sensitive to drugs like uh, Valtrex, Valacyclovir, or Gencyclovir, or Acyclovir. Um, we did a phase two trial in the U.S., which was multi-institutional, that was very encouraging and we now want to combine that with another immunostimulant that's actually an immune checkpoint inhibitor called nivolumumab. Okay. It's an anti-PD-1. So putting those two things together, and we're designing the trials as we speak, and we'll be doing that through a consortium that is a group of institutions in the United States called the American Brain Tumor Consortium. Um, so both of those trials are involving a gene therapy vector to stimulate the immune system in the glioblastoma. Okay. Right? And the last trial that I'm about to start is actually of an oncolytic virus. This is based on herpes simplex virus. This is a virus that can still replicate. Mm -hmm. um, this is also going to be a phase one. And there is for tumors that... Uh, have recurred, but we can't take out by surgery. So we will be injecting with a needle the virus into the tumor and uh, hopefully getting enough inflammation or immune response to get uh, some results.